and welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. You may have heard the past few years about an amazing compound called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or simply just NAD. NAD is a component inside all living cells, and consequently, it's essential to sustaining life, and specifically, protecting us against the countless factors that accelerate aging. NAD instigates DNA repair, restores mitochondrial function, and contributes countless benefits that mimic exercise and calorie restriction. There's actually a big secret about NAD, and a distinct specific reason it's not often mentioned. And while I don't want to clickbait any of you, I'm not going to reveal that big secret just yet. One critical factor of NAD's effect on longevity is that NAD is required for the proper functioning of serotins, the family of metabolic proteins that regulate and optimize cellular health and are themselves largely responsible for slowing the aging process, which itself will protect against things like metabolic syndrome, obesity, cardiomyopathy, and even a decline in vascular endothelial function. As we grow older, like everything else, natural NAD levels and consequently serotonin activity steadily decreases. Obesity, excessive stress, and an overtly sedentary lifestyle accelerate this process even more. Replenishing NAD induces angiogenesis, or the creation of new blood vessels from older, impaired ones, and restoring NAD also supports increased insulin sensitivity. Serotins, which again are fueled by optimal NAD, are also critical for maintaining the length of our telomeres, the stretches of DNA strands that cap the ends of chromosomes. As part of the aging process, our telomeres steadily shorten each time a cell replicates itself, and once telomeres reach a critically short length, cell renewal is impaired, and this opens the door for rapidly accelerated aging and eventual cell death. So how does NAD repair DNA? Accumulated DNA damage over time contributes considerably to the aging process and can often lead to poor immune function and even cancer. To repair damaged DNA, the body activates a metabolic enzyme called PARP1, which itself consumes enormous quantities of NAD to do its job. As NAD is steadily depleted, the restorative activity of the PARP1 enzyme is critically impaired. Once you replenish NAD, the body can resume optimal DNA repair and prevent cell death from constant stress. Obesity, metabolic syndrome, atherosclerosis, or even the damage caused by a systemic viral infection are all practical examples of constant stress. Combating any of these things, or even all of them, requires a constant supply of NAD. Fortunately, NAD as a supplement is easy to find, and it's become the subject of increasing research these past many years, and that's where the big secret of NAD comes in. The truth is that NAD is even easier to find than you would ever imagine. Supplemental preparations of NAD are often ridiculously expensive, and this is why the big secret about NAD has in fact largely been kept a secret or at least just quickly mentioned in passing among all the amazing benefits of NAD. The big secret about NAD is that NAD is made in the body from niacin, vitamin B3, which my loyal followers know is my favorite B vitamin, something I've called one of the most supportive nutrients we will ever have available to us. The reason this connection between niacin and NAD isn't often discussed beyond a passing reference is because NAD is often one of the most expensive supplements around, while niacin, by contrast, is extremely cheap. You could literally buy at least six months of niacin for what just one month of NAD will likely cost you. While there are several different preparations of niacin available, I still say regular immediate release flushing niacin, which is otherwise known as nicotinic acid, is the best, and it's also the cheapest. Most of you know that niacin produces the famous niacin flush, and while the flush looks like a systemic rash or sunburn, and it feels like an itch beneath the skin, the flush is actually harmless and fades with time as you grow accustomed to whatever dose of niacin you're taking. Even though niacin is water-soluble and does not stay in the body very long, if you're new to niacin, I would begin with a small dose of 100 milligrams or less. I've even seen niacin doses as low as 50 or 25 milligrams, and these would be appropriate for anyone with a sensitive body who needs to begin their niacin journey slowly.
While you can take niacin anytime you like, I would still take it at nighttime because it really helps you sleep, and ideally try to take it with your evening meal because taking it with food helps to cushion the body against the sensation of the flush also. In abundance of stress, any stress will strain and drain your body's supply of NAD. As I've hopefully shown you, replenishing NAD, ideally through niacin supplementation, is critical for surviving these stressful times, and that also includes the stress imposed by a viral infection. So please keep your NAD optimized. Take your niacin every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.